How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. What you see here is a Hot Shot 1200. This is a heat treat oven uh, that was made by Stan Zinkowski, Barzi Industrial. Check ch Stan's channel out. Uh, serial number 215578. <laughs> uh, anyway, it has the original Novus controller. Uh, for a little programmable controller here for the heat temperature control. Now Stan did a recent video showing the new Novus unit that came out which is a N20K48. This unit is about the quarter of the size does everything this does but one the reason I'm going to upgrade is because this can only hold one ramp cycle in memory. This can hold 20. Uh, I think it was 20 ramp cycles. So that's what I'm I looking at is I can have a, several profiles already saved and maybe do a little bit of adjustment uh, due to the size of the project or the mass of the project. I might have to make things a little longer in time or something, but temperatures I can have already sat and it's a lot easier to change. Plus it has a, a phone app. Uh, you can Bluetooth this uh, and do all your programming from your phone, which is very, very nice. So I am going to show you, I'm going to upgrade, change this out. That's what it's going to be about. Not really about programming it, but getting it all changed out if you're going to upgrade your hotshot or the one maybe the one of the units from american road it should be very similar here's the uh, instructions that come with it it's just not a lot uh you know familiar self with it if you don't understand this stuff you know you might have to do some research it's not a lot of info there uh but you can go to their website and you can find out info about things uh, the app, you go to their website and you'll be able to download the app uh, or go to, uh, I went, I have an iPhone, so I went to the, the, the app store there and uh, it's a quick time, quick tune mobile is for the phones and they also have a quick tune for PCs. It's free to download the software for it. So there it is, it's all wrapped, shrunk wrapped in plastic here. I haven't even opened it yet. About it, that's it, not much. Should snap into the same hole and we have our terminal strip here. Uh, a little diagram for the uh, terminal pin out. So we can uh, do that. Now this probably, most units like this, this unplugs. Uh, so you can wire it and then plug it right in. Uh, so I don't need to unplug it, but I'll bet that unplugs. Like I said, the instructions aren't aren't too big. You know, it tells you how to set it up a bit and tells you what things do, but you you probably want to know a little bit more than that. All right, there's just uh, two screws on the front front here. And uh, just we can identify a few things here. We have uh, the controller and we have control power, which is uh, power to the whole unit. And then we have heat enabled switch, which you can turn off just the heating element without powering down your controller. There we go. Uh, down inside here, we have the solid state relay, SSR. Uh, we have two circuit breakers down here, and the buttons are underneath for resetting. Those are kind of like uh, used in aircraft a lot. Uh, up here we have the thermocouple terminals. We have uh, thermal overload uh, right here for temperature of the housing. It, that's where it's up against. And then down in here also we have the terminal block for the heating uh, elements that come go in down to the bottom there. 
And then we have the door switch right here and we have the alarm uh, light and horn. We have the uh, controller and then the two switches right here. So it makes it easy to uh, see how this is all wired up. So what I've done is I made a quick schematic of how the new hookup will be from the wires that are on the original controller. Now there's a, there's a layout on the side of this controller telling you which are the input, the output, the power, and uh, how they're hooked up. Now then the numbering is not the same. There's only nine terminals on the new unit where here they have, you know, they're using up to 11 and 12. So uh, even though you see only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's nine screws here. So there, there's actually only nine terminals, but the numbering is not the same as the new unit. So you have to translate how they're wired here to how they're going to should be wired here. Now I'll hold this for a few seconds so you can see a bit. Anyway, not too difficult to do, but it is the numbering. You can't just straight wire this across from the numbers. Now do not just go pull all those wires off. Loosen them, a few of them, and move them a pair at a time. Make sure you have the right size screwdriver for this terminal strip. You can mess these up pretty easily. Make sure you loosen them all. Oh, make sure they're all open, you know, before you uh, put something in there. These are all open already, so that's good. Now we're going to do this one first, the thermocouple, right, right there. Now that, these are a little on the long side for this terminal strip, so we're going to we're going to trim them a little bit. Three is the red. And the next one, now th this, this also has a diagram of how the terminations go. So you have to, like I said, do some translating from this one to this one. The numbering is not the same. Now we're going to do this. This is the um, power to the heat enable switch, which controls the relay. I'm not going to re-strip these or anything, just kind of straighten them out a little bit. Black will be four and five will be red here. Now, of course, this unit's not plugged in. I do make some assumptions. Now this is the, the next thing I'm doing here is the power to the uh, alarm or the signal to the alarm, I should say, right? That's the, the, the alarm light and horn there. Now we have the power. This, these last ones are just power. Now mine's a 220 volt unit. The other one's going to go in eight and jump her over, so I got to get two wires in that other one. Might be a little on the snug side. These are good sized wire.
Okay, now I'm gonna, since I, I'll hook that up, but I'm gonna take this out, take this unit out uh, while I'm here now. You just undo the back of that and then this little, you know, these are up in here like that. You, un, you lift up the back side of that a little bit off those teeth and then it slides right out. So, and then this will come out. All right, I stripped a little bit extra, a little more insulation off there. It was awful short on the conductor part. Uh, to get in there, the insulation doesn't, it's an awful small hole uh, to get those two in there, but strip a little bit extra off and they, they go in there. All right, so it's all hooked up. I'm just wet, putting a reverse wedge in there and just popping these out. And then that will slip in from the front. So we'll unplug it. See how it unplugs? We're gonna orient this right, put that in. So the wires, uh, let's see here. That's obviously upside down, there we go. Orient that properly. Should go right in the same hole. Nice fit. Put our clamps on. It is slip in there. And then just fold up there to hold that in. It is slip in there. And then just fold up to hold that in. It's not coming out. It's not gonna come out. And let's plug it back in again. Really, that's it. Now you should always check, make sure you didn't uh, do something else to the wiring in there, obviously. Shouldn't take you more than really, I mean, I'm filming this, so it takes a little longer, but uh, you know, 15, 20 minutes, you should have this all uh, changed out. This is the N480D model. Now this, this is a perfectly good unit. I could program it and use it for any number of things. I might even use that for my little tempering oven. I have a little toaster oven underneath on the bottom shelf. And I might just uh, do something with this and control the tempering oven instead of using the thermostat set up on there. Uh, I have all the stuff to do. I could do that with. And maybe... Uh, make this the controller for the tempering oven all right i got the uh, unit plugged in and we're going to turn it on control power on heat is off and that powers right up now i've downloaded the software on my phone and it shoot it already uh found the unit <laughs> just really fast so Stan goes through uh, some of the setup uh, of this on in his video, so I'm not going to do that now. And I have not played with this. This is the first time I've turned it on. So, uh, but it found it right away. And I'll have to go through, you know, figuring out, you know, and everything of how to do, how to control everything and set up all the points and the system and stuff. So, uh So it, it looks very straightforward uh, as far as setting up all the tuning parameters and such and the alarm functions and everything. And I'll, I'll, I'll have to go through that. Oh, that's a, it's not a K, it's a K type. There we go. Change the thermocouple type and do the setup procedure. And uh, I'll already do this in Fahrenheit. Uh, some of these simple things real quick. And uh, it seems pretty good. I like this. Anyway, so we'll go do that and uh, eventually uh, 
see how it all, all works out. So, uh, there's a quick tune. Yep. So, thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll uh, get a project going where we've got to heat treat, heat treat something here pretty soon. I've done several projects, but I've never videoed them. But I have done a few things. So, but we'll uh, do that and get a program profile and all that set up. But here you how you can quickly and easily upgrade your unit. Thank you guys again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and all that good stuff.